Morphe, 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 Morphe,
<laughs> also, something else that was really funny to me, the responses I just read you came from Instagram, but I did get on Twitter and I seen under the post that Trend Mood posted, someone replied back and said, can't believe this snap was five years ago, and she kept the shape of it. And she posted the actual snap from where Jaclyn Hill was originally, like, procuring this whole, like, Jaclyn Hill's cosmetic, like, component or whatever and you can tell that that is a very old picture because snapchat has not done that countdown in a very very long time something that i found really interesting about this whole situation and we all know that jacqueline hill says that she's been working on this cosmetic line for like ever is i went to test and i've talked about that website numerous different times here on this channel and it is a trademark database where like if you trademark something your name goes into this database it explains who the trademark goes to i pulled it up and it looks like jacqueline hill actually trademarked this Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics back in February of 2017. So while she's been working on this, you would think that she would already have this copyright information done, but she didn't. So it leads me to believe that Jaclyn Hill was not so much focused on Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. I feel like she wanted to probably do like 2,500 collabs with Morphe, get her money up and then put money into her brand, which is all well, fine and good, girl. I'm not knocking anybody's hustle. That's your thing. If you want to promote Morphe to no end to where it's probably going to affect your brand and it is probably going to affect your brand because so many people associate Jaclyn Hill with Morphe, there's literally going to be no way that people are not going to say that Morphe is involved in this in some form or fashion because we all know that Linda Morphe and Jaclyn Hill are thick as thieves. And I'm sitting here, I'm like giddy laughing at this whole situation because I'm very happy for Jaclyn Hill. Like, do you, if you want to make a business and be a boss bitch, like, I'm all for empowered women. I love women that are like bosses and they just exude power. But there comes a point when it's like Jaclyn Hill has done so much and she has been in so much drama and so much scandal with one company that she's like so deeply attached to. I'm like, girl, like this is going to affect your brand. Case in point, here you guys I live for Gigi spill the tea on Twitter like if you don't follow her and you have Twitter please go follow her she cracks me up all the time like she is so ruthless in the things that she says yesterday she tweeted out and said I really love that Jaclyn Hill went on snapchat and raved about the Morphe concealer and said it's good as shape tape and that will be the concealer of 2019 <laughs> And yet, she has not used it once since then, and she inserted a screen capture, well, screenshot, screen capture, am I like 80 years old, of Jaclyn Hill in one of her recent videos where she's actually using shark. And I'm not even gonna lie, yes, the screen cut, because I said shark, shape tape, I mean, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't make this stuff up. Anyway, but you guys know the history that Jaclyn Hill has with drama, Morphe, and all of that. Are you guys excited about Jaclyn Hill's brand? I mean, I'm happy for her. Anything that somebody wants to do to, like, better their self or open a business or something like that. If she wants to help other people feel beautiful and everything and empower women, I am all for that. Or empower men. Like, I really think it'll be interesting to see when she comes out with her campaign if she has men in makeup in her campaign as well. But I am expecting some kind of scandal because it's not Jaclyn Hill there's not a scandal. Scandal sells for Jaclyn Hill. She is like a car salesman of makeup and I feel like she could probably talk anybody into anything. I feel like Jaclyn Hill could sell shit to a fly at this point and people would buy it. I mean look she had all these people out here buying this Morphe foundation and it was literally like paying girl. <laughs> like what happened to that? I don't ever see anybody on Twitter or Instagram using Morphe foundation anymore. Like that was like come and gone. But you guys let me know what you think down below. What is your reaction to Jaclyn Hill finally dropping her cosmetics line? Are you excited? Are you going to buy it? Are you a Jaclyn Hill fan? Are you going to be using code Jack Attack? <laughs> because in my opinion, it'll probably be affiliated with Morphe some way. And you know that code will work. But you guys, let me know what you think down below. I am going to be on a podcast with Sup Daily tonight. I don't really know the specifics yet because like we've communicated a little bit. I'm supposed to download Discord after I edit this video and try to figure out how to work that. I will be tweeting it out if you guys are into him. I have been watching Chris for a very, very long time. He's very well known here on YouTube. Like he makes really cute, like relatable videos. Also, if you are invested in the James Charles drama, my friend Cotton did just post a video where she actually had a CIA investigator and body language expert dive into Jeffrey, Tati, and James's videos with a very unbiased opinion. This guy did not know who any of these people were and it was really interesting what that person had to say. I will link it in the description box of this video as well. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I can't wait till the next drama pops off so we can sit here and kiki and haha -ha together. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you on my next video. Bye guys.